Welcome to the Tuesday tutorial. My name is Andrew, the creator of Age Animations, and today I will be showing you the workflow from Premiere Pro to After Effects and Cineware, and back all the way into Premiere Pro and exporting it. And let's get started. Here is a shot I'm going to break down. It is the hacky sack and it's fairly simple, three keyframes for the animation. Hit the boot, fly in the air, hit the boot one more time, and just rinse and repeat. So, here we go, into Premiere Pro. Here we are in Premiere Pro, I import my footage, I keep the settings as they are. I'm checking my footage, about to export it into After Effects. The way we export it is right click replace with After Effects composition. It will open up After Effects in its own comp and I will transform into get it all square in the frame, go to layer new Maxon Cinema 4D file, go into animating digital dark that I pre-modeled and here is a time lapse of the digital dart. Now, when I track the footage, I really didn't use a 3D model tracker, I didn't use Buju, I didn't use Synthize, I just added the video to my background and followed the kick of the boot and modeled the dart. I figured it was fairly simple. It was only three keyframes in the shot, out of the shot, back into the shot, and then back out, and then a kick at the end. After I was done animating it, I brought it back into after Effects with some subframe motion blur. A quick note, always save your Maxon Cinema 4D file so it would update into After Effects. Checking Premiere Pro to see if the link is perfect between After Effects and Premiere Pro. And at this point, I'm compositing the dart with the footage to make it look like it was originally a, a real dart. I've always known the best way to make an animation perfect is to make it imperfect. So adding a fast blur because nothing's perfectly sharp in video. Add a tint because uh, it will desaturate it. It will desaturate the model, add grain because there was a ton of grain in the video itself so I tried matching it up one to one with the grain in the video. Added a little bit more blur, took out the tint and added a curves for contrast. Did a lot of RAM previews just to see if the dart was lining up properly. Brought it back into Premiere Pro where I did my final color correction. A lot of people like darkening the shadows and then brightening the highlights. I found the best way to do it is bring up the shadows just a little bit. Punch up your highlights kind of like you normally would. Bring down the midtones and you get a fairly decent contrast without losing any of your shadows and details. I added a little bit of warmth in the highlights and cool in the shadows to give it that summer movie look with a little bit more saturation and that is the final shot. The final render looks fairly decent. 
I still can't figure out what's up with Cineware because my digital dart still looks like a digital dart no matter how much I edit it don't forget to like subscribe follow me on Facebook Twitter and Instagram and this is Andrew from Age Animations I will see you next Tuesday for Tuesday tutorial main video on Friday behind the scenes on Saturday and tutorials on Tuesday thank you for watching